Hello, just doing a quick uh, review on this uh, Dean Davenstein V. It's a VMNT1. A great guitar. I uh, got it down in Los Angeles at Norman's Rare Guitars. Uh, looked at their site and saw they had it, but weren't really sure about it because in the photos, the silver finish. It looks okay, but it doesn't really pop out. But in uh, right in front of it here, you can see it has metallic flake in it, and it really stands out when you actually see it in in person. So started the headstock here. Um, you've got the Davidson signature, Dean. Uh, the tuners. It's got a your regular plastic nut because it's a hardtail. Let's flip it over here. It's got a uh, Grover tuners. There's a serial number, uh, made in Korea, and I, to date it, I had to email Dean, and I got a reply right away. It's uh, made in 2010, and um, they can even give you the uh, factory that it was made at. I can't really recall it, but I can put it in the details later. A nice volute here between the neck and the headstock, so strong, a lot less chance of it breaking off. And it's, unlike a fender, it's tilted back, kind of like a... Gibson uses. And uh, going to the front, this is your single screw for your truss rod cover. This one we haven't adjusted yet uh, since we bought it. It's playing great right out of the box. Whoever had it last uh, really good, took good care of it since it's five years old. There's no chips on it or dents or dings or anything. It's actually not even scuffed. Um, it's hard to tell if it's even played any of the. See a bit of tarnishing on the pickups. That's from us playing it. So we'll clean that up. It needs new strings. Um, looks like it has uh, XL strings on it. You can see the multicolor uh, balls in the back so it would be a uh, Didario XLs. And the back there you see the battery cover. Uh, it's kind of tricky to get off. You pull that out and then it pops out. I don't know if I can even get it. Probably not. I can't. But you pop that out and then you pull this uh, blue tab here and a 9 volt pops out. So put a fresh 9 volt in there and I just brought the pickups up to, back to life and uh, they sound really great, which you'll hear. Uh, one cover, which is nice, so this one cover you can get at all your pots and switches and everything. Um, another awesome feature is the strap locks. Um, they're Jim Dunlock strap lock and they work super slick. So there's no button on the guitar, it's a nice big uh, insert into the body of the guitar so not like a simple Phillips screw it'll actually hold a lot better than a screw that can come loose on your typical Les Paul or Strat and then this has balls on the end of the strap lock and then uh, when you put it in it just kinda goes in and just clicks in and that's it it's locked cannot fall off period so really good especially for a guitar like this you never want to drop this it'd be a disaster so uh, the guitar is very, very light. Uh, right on the review, it's uh, or sorry, on the specs, it's a mahogany body, and it really shows. It's extremely light guitar, uh, very easy to hold. I'd say lighter than a, a Stratocaster, or definitely way lighter than a Les Paul. It's nothing, you know, for its size, you'd think it'd be really heavy, but it's seriously a light guitar. Another thing I really like about it is you have two volumes and one tone. So you can turn your neck volume down for a clean neck and then if you want to go back to your high gain you just flick it to your bridge pickup and then you get your full volume on your bridge or vice versa however you want to do it. And also you can turn your neck off and do your Ace Frehley uh, cuts with it so it, you know, get your Marshall amp full on and then cut it to zero and then full on again and get a big uh, cool effect. And tone seems to work good too. It's uh, a functional tone is doesn't just uh, kill the tone as soon as you start moving it. If you don't have to have it on 10 all the time, you can turn it down and it'll actually still work. Uh, the body's not bound, of course. You don't want that on this style of guitar. So, And it does have these cuts here, which I thought was kind of like a, just to set it apart from a regular V. But it's very functional. When you play it, it, it allows your arm to go across the body without this uh, sharp edge. So it's actually a functional cut in the guitar and it looks cool too. And there's the neck binding, uh, really well done. All the fret ends are very smooth. Uh, I don't think the fret board is rolled, 
but it's been played a bit so it feels very comfortable anyway. Um, frets are very good tall jumbo frets of course so great for bending you don't choke out any notes or anything like that like you would on a fender or guitar like that. Inlays are excellent. Um, I'll clean up this guitar and we'll have a video on that but very intricate inlays, no gaps, very well done. Uh, high end, high quality fretboard, uh, high, high quality workmanship too is very, very well done. Okay, and the point, like no chips at the point, the top or anything like that. So, guitars like these are easy to bang up. So, you can tell if they are banged up, person just hasn't taken care of it or you know, hasn't been uh, that good with a guitar, but this one, you can tell the previous owner was very good with it. So I think that's about it for this guitar. Um, the pickups are uh, Dave Mustaine Signature Active Seymour Duncans with a chrome cover. They do get a bit of uh, tarnish on them when you start playing from your just sweat and all that stuff, but uh, they clean up easy. Just take my t-shirt and a couple rubs and you see how they will clean up. So. When we change up the strings, we'll clean them up real good again. So, and then they uh, kind of reflect back at you, which is a pretty neat effect. Okay, I think that's about it for this guitar. Beautiful guitar, very well made. Uh, you can make it at any other factory in, in the US or whatever country you want. And I don't know how you could make it any better. It's uh, very well specced out. I assume Dave Steen was involved in specking it out, and uh, the build quality is excellent. So a great deal. We got this at uh, Norman's for eight hundred. Yeah, eight hundred. Yeah, they took fifty bucks off and all that stuff. But the, the kind of icy on the cake there is we got this case as well. It's a Dean full size case, and it's uh, and it's form fitted to the guitar. So. It was actually super clean when we got it, it's got a bit dirty now, but it, the guitar sits in there perfectly and it's great for travel, so uh, form fitted with a nice big tool area for your strings or what have you. There's the original hang tag, can't the GSS, GHS string hang tag, the original Allen key for your truss rod and lock. So an excellent guitar, um, used guitar to get because it has all the original stuff. The case is in great shape. And we shipped it on the airplane and it didn't get damaged at all. And the car, guitar arrived home uh, with no issues. Also, we used this guitar in the cold weather. So minus, what is it that day you played with? Minus 7 Celsius or minus 10? And uh, they didn't change at all. So you take it to your, you know, your gig or jam session, leave it outside in your car or vehicle, let it get cold. It's not going to affect it. Uh, it'll just warm up uh, and not, you know, bend or twist or go out of tune or anything. And the case helps too, so it keeps it for a nice slow uh, temperature change. Use the case. So, a great guitar, uh, excellent value for the money. This guitar is a step above, say, your Epiphone or, of course, your Squire or even entry level. A Mexico Strat or also yeah shout out to Norms this guitar is usually with the case about a thousand a hundred like eleven hundred twelve hundred bucks for the guitar and the case we got it for eight hundred so good job to Norms rare guitar for that and Slash was there <laughs>